Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I am going to be showing you some items that I got for my most recent Dollar Tree haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm back. I have a simple Dollar Tree haul. So you know, Christmas, is here and gone and Dollar Tree already has stuff out for Valentine's Day. I don't go super crazy for a lot of other holidays but I do like to sprinkle a little bit of the holiday throughout my home so I usually will pick up stuff here and there from Dollar Tree. So I literally went to Dollar Tree a few days ago and like the whole whole store almost seemed like it was full of Valentine's Day stuff. So I have um, two bags, so not too much. So let me just get right to it. So the first thing I picked up was this cute little container. It's a double pack. Um, and on the sides, it has like these little hearts in different arrangements. It's clear on the opposite side. And then it has the decor on this side and the other side. So the reason why I picked this up is because I have um, two goddaughters that I always like to make something for for each holiday. So I usually pick up something very um, small and simple, but just the way to say I love you. So I thought this would be perfect to put their little gift in for Valentine's Day. I also can go crazy over picking up on picking up um, like the kitchen tiles. And I thought this was so cute. I always buy these guys, but I never want to use them. So I'm like, stop buying two. Just buy one for decor and leave room for the one that you really are going to use. So this one says, I'm on my way to steal your heart. And it has the red truck. Um, and the same pattern is on the back. Or I guess technically this is the front. Super cute. Picked up one and it'll work just fine. <laughs> And then, you guys, I was super excited about this. So, this is actually a pink. I'm trying to right side up. This is actually a pink Christmas tree. Well, it's designed to be a Valentine's Day tree, but I picked it up because I am going to use it in my office next Christmas. So, Christmas 2023. I thought this was super cute. Um, if you want to use it for a Valentine's Day tree, it does... They do have ornaments that you can buy that are like hearts and roses. So that's really cute too, but I don't need a Valentine's Day tree, but I definitely need a pink Christmas tree. Um, and in the past, I have not wanted to spend five or even $10 to get one from like Target or other stores. But when I saw this for $1.25, I jumped on it. The next thing I picked up, again, I like to have these cute little just decor pieces just to sprinkle out in my home. And this is just a rug. It has a simple red heart in the middle with the word love. And I thought that was super, super cute. I do like to put the, um, these are very filmsy guys. So I do like to put the like rug gripper up under these and they also sell those at Dollar Tree, but it works very well just to keep this in place. But I thought that was super cute. Again, a way to kind of spruce up your home, but not spend a lot of money unless it's your favorite holiday. Let's see. This, you guys, is so cute. And I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy two. But look at this cute little container. So you can just throw some candy or whatever you want to put in here. And the top has a little heart there. So I thought that was super, super cute. Just open it up like that. So whatever you desire. Um, I only saw pink at my Dollar Tree. Um, so I don't know if these are going to come in other colors. But $4.25, this is pretty nice. So if you're interested in that, stop and get it. And I almost dropped it. And the next thing I picked up is this girl loves a good cup of coffee. So they have the coffee cups. Um, and I just thought this design was so cute. Let me open it up. Sorry for the background noise. Or sorry for the packaging noise. But it is what it is. So here's the cute pattern. And then the outside little gripper um, has love on it. And then you just have all these cute little hearts. It kind of reminds me of 
the pattern of the little dish that I'm using. So it kind of reminds me of this pattern here. So I thought that would be super cute to carry and make a cup of coffee in when it comes to the month of February. And you guys, you get five. So if anybody buys like the disposable um, coffee cups, you know that they used to come in a set of five, but now they come in a set of four. Um, which is cool for me because I usually drink coffee during the work week mostly so I can have that to go. Sometimes I just get tired of carrying the one I have to wash out. Then I forget to wash it out. Then it's like a mess. So sometimes the disposable one just works for me. But anyway, um, I was excited to see that that one actually has five instead of four cups in it. I should go back and get more, but I'm not. I'm trying to be better. <laughs> and then the last thing I picked up that is necessarily... Um, Valentine's decorated or um, Valentine's related, Valentine's decorated, <laughs> Valentine's related is this, uh, these measuring cups, you guys, this is so cute. And you get a total of four and they're just in this little heart pattern. This did come in the pink color and the red. I am more of a pink girl than a red girl, though I do, I can take a red, but I am more of a pink girl than red. So I thought this was super, super cute. Um, and you get, let's go ahead and open this up. I don't even know if I'm going to use this, but it's super cute to sit out doing the Valentine's season. So you get a fourth of a cup, you get a third of a cup, a half of a cup, and then you get your full cup. So super cute. So excited about those. I'll wrap that back up. <laughs> And then I just have one more thing. So I picked up a few of these containers. Just picked up two of those. So I saw these a while ago and I got them. Um, I do some crafting and I got them to put my sublimation prints in that I just kind of made up to have. And so um, I was using that for my sublimation prints, but I have recently... I've been doing some budgeting planning, but I have recently really wanted to get into some of the savings challenges because I think it's just a fun way to overall um, save. And so I found out in the budgeting streets that people are using these for the savings challenge boxes. I actually will pull mine over now, the one that I have. And so you make these little cards up and um, this one is for a hundred envelope savings challenge so it's numbered one through a hundred and then when you get paid or whatever you randomly take some cards and place the money in so i thought these containers are really cute especially to be at dollar tree so yesterday i saw a few i should have picked up the rest of them but i didn't i just picked up two but i thought these are really cute uh, i will replace the one that i took away from sublimation and then i will use the other one for another savings challenge so this stuff usually comes out around back to school time but i looked up and found some in dollar tree again so you guys i told you it was going to be a simple short and sweet video but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? I'm bringing you content regarding planning and also Dollar Tree hauls um, for now. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Simply Shantae Renee. I'd love to have you over there as well. Are you a Dollar Tree shopper? If you are, please leave me a heart down in the comment box. Um, tell me if you like to decorate for Valentine's. Um, and if you saw anything that you like, tell me if you're going to get those things from Dollar Tree. So guys, as I always say at the end of my videos, be fearless, be intentional, and strive to walk in excellence. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.